Hey, Sneaky Lurks back in today. Yeah, I'm back, baby. I'm back in effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today we've got Sabion 10. Yes, yeah, Sabion 10. But not the usual KDE, not the usual name and free stuff. No. Guess what we've got? We've got me mate. Yeah, we've got mate back here. Yes, you get several different desktops, as you well know. Trade out of the box, or you can add them. Whatever you want to, really. So anyway, I've downloaded the Mate version. It ran in about 792 megabytes to download, so it was pretty quick to download. Nicey, nicey for me. I'm going to give you a quick run through with you. Let's see how good it is. Now remember, Sabion 10 is based on Gen 2. Well, a Gen 2 binary. It's not actually Gen 2, Gen 2. It's just a Gen 2 binary. And it's super duper. Now, really, honestly, personally, if I could be asked to actually compile Gen 2, I would. It takes so bleeding long, I don't bother. So if I really want to use this system, I would use a Sabion. You know, because it's all done for me. Very stable, it's a rolling release. Once you install it once, you don't really have to do it again. It just keeps updating itself. And it's a nice up-to-date, fresh system all the time. Which is what we want, isn't it? Oh yes. It has a couple of you know idiosyncrasies around about it. I'll show you them when we get to it, okay? So we've got a time and date up the end here. Of course, it looks like known to Linux, it's mate. You get applications, places, and system. Got my Ethernet connection down here, my sound, and of course my system is up to date. I installed it. Installation took around about 15-20 minutes, roughly like that. Yeah, should be it's okay. It's all done for me. Nice. So let's start. On your desktop, you get the computer, Sneaky's home, which is me. You get live help. Sabion mate, about Sabion. Donate to Sabion. Trash should be rubbish bin. And Rigo, yes, Rigo is there now their uh, like repository for their stuff. So if I open that for you, I'm gonna have a quick look. And we'll just put something in. Say for instance I work the awesome Windows manager, yeah? So if I put in A-W-E-S-O, and it should come up for it now. No. Okay, put in a minute. And there it is. I've done it floating and tiling Windows manager. I'm gonna install that a bit later actually, and I'm gonna do another video and show you around a bit actually. Because I've not actually done one on awesome for Ever, actually. Not forever. But that's actually their repository for their stuff. So if you want to program, you can just go and get it. So if I put it in Firefox, for instance. There we go. Firefox 15 is here. Ha, 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 ha. Lovely jubbly. And it's got three and a bit styles. So it's not too bad, is it? Okay, so that's their actually package manager, which is rather nice. Now I'm going to go to the menu. Oh, by the way, I've got a message. My system is up to date. Well, I know it is. Install it. Okay. Applications. Now, you, I'll be honest with you, you don't actually get too much with it, all right? But we'll give it a go. Under accessories, you get your archive manager, your discs, Pluma for text editing. Take a screenshot, hand it to me now, okay? Under graphics, you just get a document viewer and I have made image viewer. Yeah, that's all you get. I nothing else. Midori is your browser of choice here, and you only get transmission and X chat with that, okay? So it's quite stripped back, really, isn't it, when you think about it? Which I don't mind because you can add what you want, really. Under Office, all you get is a dictionary and a document viewer. Mm-mm-mm, not very good. You really need to a net. So you can't actually get down and do some Office stuff. You do need to do some installing once you've installed the base, OK? There's all the help stuff and Sabian homepage and the Sabian packages. Should I go to Sabian homepage? Well, I don't see no reason why not. I'll have some drinkies while I'm waiting. Hang on a second. Mm. Oh, it's doubled me up. What happened there? Well, it's done that. Just close that instead. Here is where you can download it from. Yes, you can. Yes, you can download it from here. I'll, you, I'll even go down to the um, page for you. So if you go to download, I'll just go down here somewhere to... Go a bit further, a bit further. If I go to the Netherlands, it's quite close to me and it's quite a nice, fast download. And I'll click on the HTTP one. I'll show you. And we'll go down to the ISOs. Right, Sabian 10 is down here. K means KD, by the way. G means gnome. M means mate. Get XFC as well. Has 64 bit as well. So, yeah, nicely, nicely XFC and all that. And you can get the core CDX and the hardened screen server and the server base and the spin base. You get whatever you'd like. And you click and off it goes. Nice. Easy peasy. Okay, what else there? Not much more here to do for you, really, is there? I understand the video. Audacious is the only one here, just for music plan. I installed OpenShot, and it installs nicely, nicely, and works super duper. -y. The only problem I do have is it's just a thing with Sabion. This might be one of the slower package managers, and it does take some time, okay? Now, by the way, if you want to do animated titles, you will need to install Blender here, because it's not installed by default, because nothing's still installed by default. But it all works, it's all nice and hunky dory. Bearing in mind, the new Open Shot comes out in a few days' time, which must be super duper. I've had a quick look. Nice it is too. So, I might as well install something, might I, really? 
what we're waiting. So, we'll open up Rigo again. Now I want to do some documents, don't I? So, being me, I won't put LibreOffice in, I'll put Abbey Word. Let's see if it's in the repos. There we are. Da, 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 da. Nothing there. Did I spell it right? Yes. There it is. Look, it couldn't catch up with me. It's 286. Yes, okay, I can live with that. So, we're going to do that. We're going to install. Yeah, it's fine. It wants to cut back to one, so it wants libs and libs and libs and libs. And so we just accept that. Okay, that's good for me. So yeah, we we'll wait a little bit. Should we show some activity? Yeah, we we'll confirm first though, as you do. It wants my password, so chuck my password in. If that's the right one, I imagine it would be. Yes. We're in a queue. We want to show some activity. Okay, let's see what's going down. It's actually downloading it for for us. I'll move it up, and you can just see what's going down. I've chosen Abbey Word basically because it's quite quick. Okay, it doesn't need many other stuff to go with it. Okay, so yeah, that's why I've done it. Mm, mm, anyway, uh -uh. Right, while it's doing its stuff, we're going to have a quick look around somewhere else. Okay. Of course, being uh, mates, you can do stuff with the panels as well. So you can add to a panel and delete the panel or add a new panel and do some more panels. If I go to a panel, until we've got the panels. So that's good if you want to do the panels, isn't it, really? And the places, of course, you have the home folder desktop, as I've shown you, because it's on the desktop itself. Seven mate. Connect to a server or search for files. And the system. Hmm. I mean, most of you will be really used to this, so it's no big deal, is it, really? Because it is basically known to under mate. So you get appearance, assistive technologies, keyboard shortcuts, mousey mousey monitors, screensaver, sound, under administration, you've only got Rigo. 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 Yeah, there you go. Then you've got a bad mate. Lock screen, log me out, or shut the machine down. Right, apparently, that's oakley doakley done now. That's right. So we can get rid of that. Now if we go to Applications and Office, Abbey Word should be there. I'm going to open it up. And, have a look. and that was really sprightly, wasn't it? Oh, I'm impressed, baby. Oh, yeah. Just to make sure what version it is again. Now, they should go up to 292, really, shouldn't they? Bearing in mind it's normally cutting edge. But hey, what do I know? I'm only the messenger, man. Now, I could use Sabion on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, it would take some setting up, but hey, it's a lot quicker than actually installing and compiling Gen 2 itself. Unless you've got a 26-core machine, of course. Oh, yeah. Sabion 10, I'm going to give 92 because it just runs smooth, runs nice, runs lovely jubbly. I'm liking it. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.